day, Catamaran Company uh, viewers. Today we're on hull number 736 of the Lagoon 450. One of the last ones available since the hurricanes last year took the 2600 boats away or roundabouts. But today we're on hull number 736 of the Lagoon 450. Let's take a look. The new standard wood on the boats, you'll notice, is the, uh, the darker color for the uh, cabinetry and the lighter flooring. It's been a huge success for us, and I'm sure they'll implement it on the other boats as well. On the 450s, you have your fridge freezer on this side. Another fridge here. Additional fridge you can put outside with a couple with an ice maker. This is a liquor cabinet, or it can be also TV storage. They make a uh, optional lift that goes inside there. Inside the salon on any lagoon, and this one's no different, you'll find the uh, vertical windows. That's a trademark of lagoon in itself. The windows do three things. They give you the panoramic view all the way around the boat. The second thing it does is the greenhouse effect. It's not smoking hot today down here. It's about 90 degrees in South Florida. The third thing feels like a larger vessel when you're inside. They're very boastful, about six foot seven, six foot eight headroom throughout the boat, and that maintains throughout the salon, so it feels actually a lot larger in here. Here we're at the nav station on the 450. Uh, a lot of times we leave these blank for uh, inside repeating units. You can put in here uh, whatever you wish. Very easy to install of different electronics because of the way it's set up. Uh, these two screws, it folds open and you can get very easy access to the wiring behind there. With each boat, you do get an owner's manual. The owner's manual is very thorough. Uh, make mention again, very thorough. And as you go through here, it's a great snapshot of every system. Everything's highlighted, shows you exactly where it is and what it does. Um, very, very integrated to uh, each particular boat. Starboard side of the Lagoon 450. This is the owner's version flybridge, one of the most popular Lagoon models of all time. All the owner's versions, you do have a privacy door. It's a great feature to have. You do have the uh, safety hatches. They're CE certified spec on the boats as well, one on each side. There's a couple stainless steel hammers inside the boat and then outside by the life raft. So if you ever go turtle, you can smash it and it does shatter and get out easy, very easy. Easy access on each side. Something very simple but needed is to be able to make the bed from the side. It's a great feature to have. All the beds are the same size. Uh, very, very close to being a queen. Head to toe sleeping arrangements so you don't have to crawl over somebody in the middle of the night. One thing that they have added is the uh, aft portal for your cross ventilation. It works out extremely well. As in all the lagoons, now they feature the shade on one side and the mosquito screen on the other. Very easy to use, very effective. Uh, leave these closed for storage and it keeps the heat out of the bottom of the boat. Cold air sinks so it, when it blends out of the salon it drops down into the into the hulls of the boat and your fans that you'll find out again an option on the new boats uh, but the fan will blow the cold air around the bottom of the boat and it circulates it very very uh, efficiently. You'll notice up front this one does have the optional teak in the head uh, makes it feel definitely more like a yacht. We're in the forward, uh, starboard forward head, you know, the owner's version of the 450. Just very, uh, very comfortable, plenty of storage. You have optional electric heads if you wish. Uh, one thing I would share with you, in my opinion, that you want a manual head, uh, at least one throughout the boat, uh, because if your electrics fail and you're out there, you can still have a uh, head to use. That's actually very important. You'll notice the shower itself, plenty of room, the way these are set up now. I'm six foot tall and I still have four inches above me. So very, again, very boastful with that. LED lights throughout. Not a huge amount to take care of in here and it keeps it very clean and ease of cleaning. For those modern day pirates that are out there, I have a confession to make. There are secret passages and uh, on the boats as well as secret storage units easily fit about a case of rum or a case of wine in each of these very conveniently located as well these compartments are uh, part of the nasal that's underneath the boat it's got its own shower 
dedicated, its own head, and then its own cabin. And for 45 feet, for the amount of time you spend in the cabins, these boats are just super comfortable. And again, hence the popularity. Four and a half section of the boat on the 450. They're all about the same. Fuel tanks are underneath the bunks on each side, about 140 gallons of fuel. You are in the aft cockpit of the Lagoon 450. A couple features I'd like to point out to you. That is an actual air scoop, air vent. So when you're underway, that just folds up and it provides a huge amount of airflow down here. A couple other features. This is the table storage for the cockpit table. These are very lightweight. You'll notice this one is actually uh, fiberglass. It's very lightweight. One person can pick it up and store it away. A storage unit up here. And this is your trash. Very important out here. Easily to get to. And take it in and out. The reason they put it out here is because it keeps the smell on the inside of the boat. Simple but important. As I've referred to before, this is a great preparation area for food and things like that, but also you can have an optional ice maker and fridge in this area. You'll notice the handholds throughout the boat when you're underway. I mean, it's, it's great to have it sitting here on the dock, but when you're underway and it's user friendliness, you can grab onto things when you're maneuvering around the boat. One of the last features of the aft cockpit is obviously the speakers as well as the uh, the jib sheet that runs. Uh, we'll notice that when we go up to the flybridge, but there it is, just to give you an idea of access and how it runs and you don't trip over it. Up here on the flybridge of uh, the 450, there's a few things you have again, a. Uh, instrument panel that can be placed up here with just about whatever instruments you want to put on here. Very easy to get in and out, it zips and unzips. This is probably the simplest and easiest of them. Uh, the other option that is available is for a hard top and it works out extremely well. But you can surround these in, make it uh, very weatherproof if that's what you desire. You can have all electric winches up top as an option from Lagoon as well. constantly asked about how to maneuver the boat uh, such a larger vessel with uh, being able to single-handed. You lock the wheel and you have your throttle controls right here and you can neutralize the wheel and maneuver the boat very easily with your engines. All your winches on these boats have high and low speed and here's the buttons for them. Your high and low speed for your electric winches. You want to use your high speed as an example on the main. Raise the main all the way up and as you get closer to the top then switch down to your low speed. This one also features a uh, option of having a cushion up top there when you're underway. It's a great place to uh, get some sun. Two forward storage uh, compartments. You can have an option to build those out. Um, you want that to be uh, built out for you know the kids or as an extra cabin for the captain. Do that certainly. This one did opt to have the uh, forward pulpit seats. I really enjoy those because it's a fantastic uh, viewpoint when you're out sailing and sometimes the dolphins come up to the bow of the boat. This one also does feature the windlass as, as noted. The specs, anchor system that's been known from the dune throughout. Trampolines on these, they have uh, they have the hooks that you can easily, uh, when you need new tramps, that you can put them on. This is called your martingale. It goes from one side of the boat to the other. Personal strength on the boat, that's what kind of keeps them as rigid as possible when you're underway. You can imagine the forces of uh, water on the boats itself, the hull, this keeps it as strong as possible and your, uh, your LED light is mounted up there as well. So these designs are, uh, they obviously have a huge crossbeam on them and the martingale is for uh, great strength. There's actually three pieces to the bottom. You have your outside on each side and then you have your underside and the boat is split in half on the hulls and they put a fiberglass tabbing to hold everything together. That's the way that uh, Group Pinnato has found it to be easiest to uh, build and has the highest quality when it comes to that. I've been to the factory several times and watched the guys build them. You'd think there's 50 people running around the boats building them. There's actually three or four guys at any given time 
and every three or four days they move up a section in the factory. 75 foot 10 inch mast on these boats. Uh, it's important to note because that's uh, intercoastal. You gotta watch what you're doing there and get yourself in the right position. You know, with that type of mast height, it's very easy to maneuver. The boom's a little higher on these boats to clear the, uh, the bimini. And uh, what that is, is your main thrust is in the middle of the sail. So it uh, works out a little bit more efficiently, actually. So that coupled with a four and a half foot draft somewhere around in there, depends on how you load it down, uh, makes the boat, you can take it wherever you want to go. So without fear of performance and or running aground. Lagoon has a forward cockpit, and this is what you'll note here. Uh, your access for your generator is over there. Uh, keeps it the noise and uh, away from the master cabin easy to get to when you need to work on it as well. It has a separate starting battery and your filters and things like that are up there. This particular boat, um, again, hull number 736, features the upgraded 57 horse Yanmar engines. Not a huge amount of money extra, the, the extra horsepower. So you can outrun some uh, weather and things like that to get you there a little bit more efficiently. If you have the power, you can pull back for fuel efficiency. So I always recommend getting the larger engines. The Abbott system on the Lagoon 450, you'll notice that they have the uh, stainless steel extensions on them. What that does when the dinghy comes up, it leans against these pillars here and then rocks out a little bit so it keeps it uh, very evenly balanced. You want to get it up and out of the way. These have a larger bridge deck clearance and uh, gives you a little bit smoother ride and it doesn't slap or pound as much as uh, some of the other manufacturers. The sugar scoops on these are cut away when you're getting in and out. You don't have to step over the transom like normal can just walk right into the dinghy. A lot of times people are drinking on the boats having a great time. This will alleviate any accidents. You can have scuba tanks across the back here. I've done that a few times on boats. The ease of getting the tanks in and out of the dinghy. If, you're going, if you like scuba diving and enjoy that. Uh, and also you have access in the back by the engines to put your dive compressor. What you don't see back here is a barbecue grill must-have on a boat uh, for the lobster tails that you'll get on the boat. It's important to note also that you can run an extra line for the barbecue grill right into your 10-pound tanks for your propane uh, so you don't have to use those little screw-on green canisters or paint in the rear. You can do that very easily and add that. It's a great feature. It makes your propane last for a long, long time. So the aft part of the boat, uh, again, needs to be comfortable because a lot of your water sports and the main attractions are to the back of the boat. You'll notice you can add an extra swim ladder on the other side. They're very strong for what they are, very sturdy when you come up out of the water. Have your showers located back here as well. The way the boat's manufactured, a lot of people ask me what this piece of wood is. What it does, it covers up the screws for the most part. Aesthetically pleasing, but it covers up the screws that go around the deck itself. So when it gets lowered on here, there's a chemical bond as well as a mechanical bond. So there's screws all the way down, but down through here, and then they use a uh, product to put the boat together so that's why you hardly ever hear of any structural issues with the lagoon products. Wow.